What is up YouTube? Carly here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And for this episode, we're going to review one of my favorite running sneakers. This is the Nike Zoomfly NYC Edition. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a bunch of hyperlaces as well as REM screening solution the moment we hit 20,000 subscribers. Subscribe now, follow me on Instagram. This sneaker I got because of one of my idols on YouTube, Casey Neistat. He did the show on complex sneaker shopping and he said that his favorite sneaker, his favorite lifestyle, and running sneaker was the Nike Zoom Fly. So was being a huge fan of Casey Nice that what did they do next? I went on StockX, took a look at all the different models of the Zoom Fly. I ended up copying this one. I love the look, I love the design, and ultimately I love to run in this pair of sneakers. Let's get to the review. For this review, I'll just do two things. First, I'll tackle the look and the style of the sneaker, and number two, we'll get into like a quick general review of how it feels like running in them. Now take note, I am not an expert runner. I'm just a casual runner. I'm a guy trying to lose weight. So I'm just rocking this one as much as I can because I just love wearing them. Let's get to it. When it comes to the look, as you guys can see, the big thing about it is the translucent upper. When I say translucent, it's see-through. So if you wear different kinds of socks, it actually shows the color. So you can actually change the vibe of the shoe depending on the socks that you wear. But, but, but that, that really depends on the style that you guys want to rock. I was personally surprised when I saw that because I didn't think that it was translucent when I saw it on StockX. So it was a surprise to me but it turned out to be a pleasant surprise because it's actually fair, very nice. So if you wear like an all black you know, kind of socks, it, it starts to appear. If you wear different kinds of colors, then it gives it more pop. There are two key elements of the sneaker in terms of design that I like. On the side, it says there NYC which means New York City and at the back, it says there, don't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the, the small details, which for me makes it more of a statement sneaker than it is like your normal pair of kicks. Now, I love the don't sleep kind of thing, not because I don't sleep. I don't, trust me, I get a lot of sleep. Uh, but it's really the mentality or the thinking of hustling and really just being ambitious with the, what it is that you do. So that's at least how I related to the statements on the sneaker. Going down, of course, one of the big highlights of the shoe is that giant foam zoom midsole so that's the thick foam that you guys see here uh, and it's super thick and it's actually very crazy because once you start to wear this it actually becomes both a good thing and a bad thing and i'll talk about more about that during the running part of this review but more or less this can be hella comfortable but at the same time if you have problems with balance it might be an issue now let's talk about the running part of this review now uh, please take note that i am not an expert runner i'm not a marathon runner uh, I do casual running. I am like what you guys have probably seen. I am trying to lose weight and running is part of them. But I, I just have to say that I love running in this pair of sneakers. And I, I say that for three reasons. Number one, this shoe is so lightweight. I mean, you, it's it gives a very natural feel when you are wearing it. For example, as opposed to more thicker uh, and more stabilizing kind of sneakers like the Mizuno Wave Sky or even the Ultra Boost Stability. Um, this one is super lightweight and again, and that one one is to one feel is really really good number two i love the sock light fit as i mentioned earlier it clings onto your feet because of the of the translucent lightweight upper it just feels so natural and number three i just feel that this is supposed to be more of like a fast sneaker and they say it's supposed to be a fast sneaker because for some reason i just love keep on running forward with this one. I, I think it's the way the shoe is designed. It, it's, it's just the kind of shoe that just keeps on propelling you forward. And that's the reason why I love this pair for running even more so than my Ultra Boost. I mean, if it's a relaxed run, if it's like a run wherein I just want to pass time just to be able to get my 10,000 steps or just to be able to burn calories, sure, I'll go for the Ultra Boost. Sure, I'll go for my other running sneakers. But hey, if I if it's like a rage run, I don't know if you guys know that, <laughs> you know, you want to remove stress by just really, you know, just running and distressing yourself uh, and, you know, listening to really super fun music. This one is super sick. I mean, uh, wow, I, I really love this pair for that one. Which brings me to the last point, I think, of this review. There's this trend, of course, for running sneakers to become like, uh, what do you call this? Lifestyle, casual, fashion sneakers. And while the trend is happening, that especially with the Ultra Boost, I still feel that sneakers like this one, 
they're meant for running and you should use them for running and you should abuse them for running and that's and that's what i don't get because a lot of people are actually criticizing this model because of how this part keeps on creasing this you see those lines over there and over there it's so it gets creases a lot but <laughs> But it's supposed to crease. I mean, for crying out loud, you, you are supposed to keep on abusing them. It's supposed to get beat up. It's supposed to get dirty. It's supposed to just take a lot of abuse because, yeah, they're a running shoe. They're a performance sneaker. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way because I, I, I thought that when I did the unboxing and the on feet of this one, people were saying, whoa, but it creases. It doesn't look good. Uh, if you want something that looks good, there are a lot of other options out in the market today. This one, I think, is really more of a running racing kind of sneaker the only issue that i have probably with the shoe is that i feel that it's a bit overpriced this one sells for over eight thousand pesos here in the philippines well not this particular colorway the generic colorways they're being sold already in nike i think for eight thousand five hundred. so it is a bit pricey for a running sneaker uh but hey if you're looking for a performance sneaker that's fast that's well at least for me it looks kind of cool <laughs> and and you know that will really just I think it's really just amazing technology that you have with this sneaker. I got this pair from StockX. I did the video already on how you can buy sneakers from StockX here in the Philippines. I'll put the link down below just in case you guys haven't seen that yet. And that's actually it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I am doing another giveaway after we hit 20,000 subscribers. I'm thinking a way of giving away the Crep Protect Pack that I shared in the previous video. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified once I do that. That's it for now. Peace. God bless.